the backpack. All right, homework's all done. Time to play? Tom Thomas, is that how you pack your backpack? Why not? What's wrong with it? I don't know how you think you're going to find anything at all in there. I will, too. Then go and find mm, your ruler. Here you go. An eraser? Hang on, I'll get it. Where is it? Uh, you can't find it. What a shame. It's because this backpack is so lousy. The backpack is just fine. If you don't want to lose anything, you got to pack it carefully. Or have a pack mat that can just hand everything to you. Oh, yeah! That's just what I need a pack mat. Only fixies have pack mats. And I'm gonna have one. I'll make my own. <laughs> There's no way. Way? Because I'll help him do it. Sure, no, like. A backpack is a bag with shoulder straps attached. It was invented to make it easier to carry heavy loads for long distances and also for freeing up the hands. Backpacks help us maintain good posture and avoid slouching by putting the load's weight onto our back muscles and our spine. And you can fit so many things into a backpack, especially if the backpack has lots of separate compartments and everything is packed nice and neatly. The first backpacks were quite heavy and uncomfortable. They were made out of wood and leather. These kinds of backpacks were worn by ancient hunters. Later on, lighter backpacks appeared that were made out of canvas and became quite popular with travelers and soldiers. Today's backpacks are so light that even kids can carry them. <sighs> Testing of the world's first pack mat design, especially for humans, begins! Ready? Ready to go! First thing out of your backpack, uh, I mean pack mat an eraser! Got it! Watch me! Cool. A pen! Your blue one! Got it! Hmm. <laughs> We're experiencing technical problems. We need a break. Testing of the world! I know, first. I know. Just start. Take out the eraser! Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll say you did it. Take out the blue pen! Oh, wow! The ruler's next! <laughs> That's some pack -a mat you got! <laughs> Class! Testing of the world's first pack -a mat design! And where's uh, Nolik? Don't worry, he'll come later. Testing. All right, all ready! Let's get it started! Go ahead! The eraser! We've seen that twice already! The blue pen! Can you take out the ruler? Sure I can! Drum roll, please! Whoa! It's not possible! Let me see! Huh. Now I get it! Why don't you take out your science book? Science book! <laughs> <laughs> Cuckoo! Did you get the textbook? <laughs> There's no way! It's huge! Yeah, some inventors you are. <laughs> Your invention calls for a little improvement, and I know what it is. What? Just make sure that when you put things into your backpack, you do it neatly. Do it neatly. Takes forever and it's boring. I'm going to show you how to make it fun. <laughs> Whenever it's a school day, a backpack's all you need. A backpack's all you need. A backpack's all you need. Your pencils, books, and papers will fit inside indeed. Will fit inside, will fit inside, will fit inside indeed. Without a backpack on your back, you won't get by. You won't succeed. But with a backpack on your back, Whenever you go hiking, a backpack's all you need. A backpack's all you need. A backpack's all you need. Whatever you've collected will fit inside indeed. We'll fit inside, we'll fit inside, we'll fit inside indeed. Without a backpack on your back, you won't get by. You won't succeed. But with a backpack on your back,
the movie. He fakes left, he shoots. Huh. Clash! And can you do it backwards? Yeah, sure. I wish Simka could see this. Why don't we make a movie for Simka about fire? We can use my fixie tub. It's got a camera. How come it's only for Simka? We'll make it for all of us. That's a great idea. I'll shoot the ball at the basket, and Nolik will do the filming. And what do we do? You can be whatever you want, like cheerleaders or the coaches. Yeah, a cheerleader. Help me in. Motion pictures, or movies, appeared more than 100 years ago after the invention of celluloid film. A movie is made up of a series of still photographs called frames. When you look at the frames quickly, one after another, the picture on the screen appears to move. It's hard to believe, but the first viewers got very scared when they saw a moving train on the screen. <laughs> At first, films were silent. Only later did people learn to make them with sound. And soon after that, people learned to make movies in full, beautiful color. Movies aren't shot on film anymore. They're made with digital cameras. Today, almost all phones and tablets come with digital cameras inside of them. This makes it easy for just about anybody to make their own movie and share it with their friends. <laughs> Fire is the best. Ooh, he can shoot the best. Hey, I haven't turned the camera on yet. Get ready. Here we go. Yep. Fire is the best. Cut. I got it. Show me. Yep. Fire is the best. And where's the ball? It flew over there. That's not right. You have to see the ball flying in the picture. I got it. Get ready. Fire is the best. How was that? It worked. I got it. Fire is the best. And where am I? You're somewhere over there. And we aren't there. Why did you have us cheering? Nolik, you need to make sure we're all in the shot. Okay, I'll try. the shots and you do the filming. Fire can't even hit the basket. You try to hit the basket when everybody's bothering you. Oh, so it's our fault, hmm? Why don't you learn how to play? Are you fighting again? <laughs> We're shooting a film. Whoa! Can I see it? There's nothing for you to see. All I have is pieces. And not one is right. Don't worry. It's no problem. All it needs is editing. What does it need? <laughs> Movies are not usually shot all at once, just a piece at a time. And each of these pieces can be shot several times with the camera in different places. Then there's plenty to choose from. After you're done shooting, you can take all of the best shots and put them one after another to make your movie. This process is called editing. Editing allows us to make movies that show things that could be impossible to shoot all at once. Well, let's see. For this first shot, we've got this cake over here. For the ball going in, we've got this one. And I like this one of me shooting. And don't forget to put in me and Tula. Of course not. So here's what we've got. Fire is the best. Oh, jeez. The film is super. Can I try to edit it? Yeah, go ahead. Now we have something to show to our teacher. And Digit, too. <laughs> and Papus and Masia. Look, I did my own editing in the movie. What was that? That's not true. It is so. With editing, it's just not fair, Nolik. Fire was able to put it in a hundred times without any editing. You sure didn't. Hey, guys, don't fight. Do you want me to teach you all the right way to shoot hoops? Yeah! All right, 
here we go. And shoot! Fire is the best! Oh, we can shoot the best! <laughs> the construction set. Tom Thomas. Huh? Why are you sitting in the dark? Because it looks better this way. Check it out. Oh, look at that! What a beautiful castle this is! It's like out of a fairy tale! No, it's from my construction set. I put it together myself. Class! Oh, let's be knights. I love that game. And so does the old dragon! Who locked the fair princess inside of the castle? I get to be the princess. Look like a knight. You don't even have armor. Armor. Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> a construction set lets you build lots of different things from a set of parts. Put them together like this, you've got a house. Like this, a car. Or like this, a spaceship. The parts might be made of metal and connected with screws. Some construction sets have plastic parts you click together. Other sets are models where the pieces are glued together. You can also find magnetic sets. Touch the parts together, and magnetic attraction makes them stick. <laughs> Beware, dragon! <laughs> oh, save me! Oh, help me! Hmm, where is that knight already? And where is the castle? The planet has been attacked by robots! And they have destroyed the castle! magnetic construction set and your armor is made out of metal so you got attracted to the magnets <laughs> Tom Thomas it's not fair unattract me <laughs> okay oh rescue me help me you gotta save me hang in there I'll be right back I gotta change my costume Don't even think about running away. And so it goes. Everyone's abandoned the poor princess. Oh. Simka's my older sister. That's why she thinks it's okay to get bossy with me. But I don't let it get to me because she's very smart and a quick thinker. She knows gadgets better than just about anybody. It's always interesting with Simka. And she's really smart, too. She gets nothing but A's at school. Everyone in our class loves her. Only she and Verda don't get along too well. It's because of fire. Well, you get it. Sometimes Simka can be way too strict with me. You can't do this. You shouldn't do that. But if an exciting adventure comes along, she's always right there with us. Simka's brave. She's got the skills. Yeah, she's always ready to take on a challenge. I've got an awesome sister. But just keep that between us. Because if you tell her, it might go to her head. How long am I supposed to sit here? Hey, anyone? Hey! Help me! Saka, you give that back. Leave, leave this room. Are you okay? I can't leave you alone for a minute. Yeah, I think we're 
okay. Nola got here and saved me from Chusaka for real. Just like a real live knight. Oh, come on, pretty knight. I'm not kidding. You deserve to be one. And to protect every living creature from pesky Chusakas everywhere. I promise. <laughs> The television. Now watch carefully. First I put some of the yellow. Then I add some of the blue. Mix them together. And now we've got the color green. Isn't that great? Class! And it's not just paint either. Your television works by mixing colors too. Really? No way! That's embarrassing. No, like you should know that by now. We live inside of that television, together with Papas and Masia. Come on! <laughs> the picture on a TV screen is made up of tiny glowing dots that are either red, green, or blue. When blue and green dots are glowing together, we see the color light blue, like in a clear blue sky. When green and red mix, we see a yellow sun. And when all three colors shine brightly together, then we see white on the screen. It may be hard to believe, but it's true. All of the colors on the screen are made up of only three colors. Red, green, and blue. So everything that's on the TV screen all comes from three colors. Red, green, and blue. Isn't that great? Where do you learn all this stuff, huh? Actually, don't you think it's about time we got you a new TV? What do you say? Sure. <sighs> Great. And then I'll take this one with me to work. We just started shooting a new show about old things. Hooray! I'm going to get an awesome new TV. Simka Nolik. Did you hear that? Are you here? They must have gone home for something. <gasps> Wait a sec. Their home is... Their, their home is in the television. This was such a nice home for us. It's okay. We'll move into one of the other TVs here. The one in the living room? Why not? It's a nice new one with a huge flat screen. We're gonna have to leave the sofa behind. What? There's just not enough room in that TV. Then I'm not going to move there. Then where? Into the fridge? No, thank you. My nose is running. How about the stove? And what about us? You're the one that says that a stove is off limits for kids. Maybe the microwave will do. No, it's dangerous there. Then, in the piano. What piano? There's no piano in Tom Thomas's apartment. What a shame. A piano is the best place of all to call home. Huh. It looks like he already put us into a box. We're trapped. Good. Dad! Hey, Dad! I changed my mind. I really don't want to get a new TV. Hmm. Why don't you want a new one? I'm just used to this one. You're a junk collector. <laughs> uh-huh. Just like you, Dad. People have always dreamt of seeing things that are far, far away. All of us have heard fairy tales about crystal balls and magic mirrors. But the magic of television began only a hundred years ago. The screens on the first TVs were so small that people had to attach magnifying glasses to them to make the picture big enough for watching. Ever since those first TVs, both the outside and the inside of this amazing device continue to change. Bulky picture tubes have been replaced by electronic chips. Screens have grown wider and wider as TV sets have changed from big heavy boxes to flat light screens that can hang on the wall like a picture. And someday, real soon, it's quite possible that TVs will be made to roll up like a rug and people will be able to carry them anywhere. All right, I'll put it back, but under one condition. If it breaks, we'll buy you a new one right away. Yeah, sure. We'll never let it break, right? Never, never ever! Well, that's that. The color is completely wrong, see? 
I guess we're going to have to throw it out after all. Wait, wait, wait. I know how to make it work perfectly. Watch this. One. Two. you do it? I just mix the three colors together, like I told you, red with green and blue. Teesh! The exercise machine. Nolik? I'm not here. You haven't seen me today at all. What's up with you? There's going to be this race, and it starts really soon. It's the boys against the girls, their team against ours. And what? And what? I'm the smallest one on the team. And I'll let everyone down. That's why I'm hiding. Because I don't want my team to lose. You can't just give up. You can learn to run faster if you want. You think? Of course. That's what exercisers are for. You need a treadmill to get stronger. Class! And where can we get one? We'll make it ourselves. Exercise machines were invented so people could work out without going outside. For instance, a treadmill lets you walk or run for a very long time while moving in one place. A treadmill's main part is a conveyor belt that is driven around by an electric motor. Today's smart treadmills have the ability to measure your speed, the distance that you've run, your heart rate, and even the results of previous workouts. There, it's all done. Teesh! It's time to start your first training session. How will I learn to run really fast? If you keep turning, it's so slowly. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, that's a little too fast. Oh, sorry about that. I got it. That's what you call training. Tom Thomas, so, what do you think? Maybe I trained enough? Not yet. You need to keep going. Oh, I can't do this any longer. Let's stop. Whew. No way. Turn the handle. Yeah. There are all sorts of exercise machines to help you improve your health. This one simulates skiing. It exercises your arms, legs, and heart. And this one, you can row like a robo. And if pedaling's your thing, an exercise bike lets you get a great workout, no matter how bad the weather is outside. There are also weight training machines. These machines can help you build big, strong muscles and tone the shape of your body. However, you can still get great exercise without these bulky machines. There are plenty of much simpler devices that you can find room for in any house. Like a chin-up bar for doing pull-ups, a wall-mounted ladder or rope for climbing, or jump ropes, weights, hula hoops, or balls. The important thing is to just exercise. <laughs> okay, girls, <laughs> hold on to your hats. Oh, how scary. We'll show them who's going to win. Right, Tula? I'm going to do my best. Tula will definitely beat Nolik. We got to step it up. It's time to get this race going. Runners, are you ready? I'm ready. ready. On your marks, everyone get set, go! Go, is greater. Oh, now the girls are gonna win. Nolik will never catch up with Tula. Oh my gosh! Nolik! He appears to be gaining ground. God, look at him! He's looking for the head! Go on, Nolik, go! You got it, buddy! Come on, buddy! They look at him, he's flying! All of that work on the exercise machine really helped. Nolik, where are you going? The finish is there! 
For the next race, Nolik's gonna win it big time. Now it's time for you all to get up on that winner stand. <coughs> oh no! All the first places are taken. For you? We'll find one. The iron. All done. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Professor Eugenius! Mm, mm. Yes, Elisa? The award ceremony's in an hour. You need to leave soon. I remember, Elisa. What are you getting an award for? It's the... <laughs> it's the genius of the year. Not too modest, but fair. <laughs> and well-deserved. Wow. And they're giving it to you? Well, yeah. Will they show it on TV? <laughs> Why, of course. Class! And during your speech, can you say hi to me? And me! And me! And Zipka. Right. Say something like this. I'd like to send a big shout out to all my Fixie friends. Oh, that's a great idea. That way everyone can know about Fixies. Professor Eugenius, didn't I see an iron in here earlier? Hmm? Huh? Oh! Oh, come on, Elisa. There's no need for that. I'm not going to argue with you. You have to look just perfect. Otherwise, everybody is going to think that I don't take care of you. First, we'll let the iron warm up, and then I can iron your suit. The most essential part of an electric iron is called the heating coil. It's hidden inside the iron sole plate. When the iron is plugged into an electrical outlet, the coil gets hot and heats up the sole. People use a hot iron to remove the wrinkles from their clothing. Irons also have a water container. When the water gets hot, it turns into steam. The steam comes out through the holes in the iron sole, making it even easier to remove wrinkles. Wow, wow, that sure is hot. All that's left to do is pour some water into it. Professor, this is water, right? Yeah, yeah, it's water. That isn't water. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's not water, it's not water. Then what is it? Well, it's, uh, juice. Juice? Yeah, juice. Oh, no. The poor iron won't last. Phew. And it smells like crud. I broke the iron. It's awful. No, 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 <gasps> Elisa. Don't be so upset. Don't be so upset. It's the genius of the year ceremony. And you'll be in a wrinkled suit in front of the whole country. Oh, I won't survive. <laughs> <laughs> Elisa, hang in there. Be careful. Elisa. <laughs> 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 Elisa. Professor Eugenius, are you all right? Oh, couldn't be any better. We're gonna go fix that iron for you. And while we're doing that, you go fix Elisa. That would be great. <gasps> Look over there. I'll fix the contact. You and Nola can scrape that burnt juice off the iron. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Elisa, Elisa, please wake up. Uh... We did it. Your iron is fixed. Elisa, you should see the iron. It's working. What? And I'm just lying around here? I have to hurry. Where's the iron and your suit? Wrinkled clothing is not very beautiful. And that's why since ancient times, people have been trying to find different ways to get rid of wrinkles. For example, long ago, people would put their wrinkled clothing under a heavy, flat rock. In ancient Rome, people used to beat their crinkled garments with a metal hammer. And in China, fabric was ironed with hot frying pans. Irons with a shape like what is used today appeared during the Middle Ages. 
They were made out of cast iron and needed to be heated up on a stove before they could be used. Later, people came up with irons that were heated by putting hot coals inside. And finally, in the 19th century, a convenient electrical iron was invented and has been used ever since. And the prize for Genius of the Year goes to... Professor Eugenius! Bravo! Bravo, Professor! Tease! Tease! I thank you. I give my sincerest thanks to you. And may I take this opportunity to send my greetings to Fix? Uh, uh, uh to all the fix -assists. Just give me the prize. Oh, that was quick thinking. Brilliant. He is just astounding. Perfection from head to toe. <gasps> well, practically perfect. <laughs> The spider. Chusaka, Chusaka. Tom Thomas, what are you doing? I'm petting Chusaka. How come? Because it makes her feel good. Just don't rub her fur off. <laughs> You're just jealous, guys, because you don't have any pets of your own. What do you mean? We've got a pet. You who? Buggy! Buggy! She was in the vent the last time I saw her. Hmm. Buggy! Come on out. We need to talk. Here, this is our friend, Buggy. Wait, this insect is really your pet? Ha! <laughs> what a joke. Buggy's a spider. She's not an insect at all. But isn't a spider a kind of insect? Insect is the term used for mosquitoes, flies, beetles, dragonflies, butterflies, ants, and many others. Spiders certainly look a lot like insects. They have very similar legs. But spiders aren't insects. They're arachnids. Insects have six legs, while spiders have eight of them. Many insects can fly, but spiders can't. But spiders can weave spider webs. They may look beautiful, but really they are traps for hunting insects. How come your buggy has five legs instead of eight of them? I don't know. <laughs> she lost them somehow. Anyhow, she can do lots of tricks. Hello, buggy. How do you do? We know how to do that trick. Chusaka, shake. Just see that? And I bet your buggy can't do this. Chusaka, sit. Buggy, sit. Why aren't you sitting? Lie down. Your turn. Lie down. Watch me. Like this. Lie down. She can't do that trick. Her fifth leg must be in the way. Lie down. Lie down, I told you. What, what kind of pet are you anyway? You can't even do a simple trick. Hey, where are you going? Wait, buggy. Don't go. Nolik, you should be ashamed of yourself. But why is she acting? So stupid. <gasps> Didn't you say that she was your friend? And what? Well, you shouldn't yell at your friends like that. She's right. What kind of friend are you? I'll go find her. And apologize. Buggy! Do you hear me? in their homes. Dogs, cats, hamsters, parrots, fish, turtles. Some folks even get crocodiles. And the bigger the animal, the more work it takes to take proper care of it. But every pet needs love and care, no matter what size it is. 
Pixies like to have pets, too. All sorts of little bugs, spiders, and flies. Pixies treat them as friends and take care of them. Of course, a little spider isn't as smart as a dog, but they also can be trained. There are some Pixies who have managed to domesticate such big insects as bees, beetles, and dragonflies. Pixies fly on their backs and use them to carry heavy loads. That's it. I'm stuck all alone in here. Forever. S Simka? Oh, how did you find me? Buggy let me down here. Buggy, you didn't ditch me. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never ever yell at you again. Ow, my leg. Hang in there, Nolik. We'll get you out. It was so scary. You oh. could have died down there. Yeah, I almost died. But you know what? Buggy saved me. Yeah, that's cooler than learning how to shake hands. Buggy sure is a true friend indeed. Does your leg really hurt a lot? Ah! <gasps> <laughs> nah, it doesn't really hurt. I'm fine. I was just joking. Money. Hello? Uh-huh. Fire, can you help me, please? Sorry, Verda. I need to go to, uh, the warehouse right away. But I helped you yesterday, didn't I? Well, I helped you the day before that. Yeah, well, what about last week? I helped you three times, remember? Well, I... Uh... You helped one another when it was time to. I don't see why you have to count. Of course not, Tula. You ask for the most help from all of us. I do not, Verda. Look how Elisa helps Professor Eugenius. And she doesn't argue with him. Of course not. She's in love with the professor. Actually, it's her job. And for helping the professor, she gets money. Hmm, money. That's a smart idea. <laughs> money constantly moves from one hand to another. A person does his job at work, and in exchange, he gets money for it. He can use the money to buy things he wants, like clothing or food. Or he can pay somebody else for their work, like getting a ride from a taxi driver, a haircut from a hairdresser, or a computer repaired by a technician. All people take part in this circulation of money. But unlike people, pixies don't use any money. We do just fine without it. Do it like people do it. If you work for somebody, they give you money for it. And if you need some help, then you pay. And that'll stop the arguing. And all the false accusations. And those are for Simka and Dole. Now it's all fair. supposed to do with it? You don't know? You pay for someone to help you. I don't like this new idea at all. At all.
your fault, Fire. And your fault. No, it's the money. That's whose fault it is. He's right. That's why we were fighting. And we didn't even fix the printer. Money is nothing more than just paper. <laughs> Although money is printed in strict secrecy, we still know something about the process. The paper used for money is made out of cotton and linen. It's stronger than normal paper made out of wood, which means it doesn't rip as easily, even if you fold it thousands of times. The ink used for printing money is special, too. It won't rub off the paper or fade in the sun. And that's not all. The ink has secret additives that can only be seen if you look at the money under a special light. This helps protect people from fake money. It is for the same reason that watermarks, metal strings, and teeny tiny writing is also used on money. This writing's very hard to read, unless you happen to be a fixie. I hope I didn't say more than I should have. Well, all done. It's time for a test. But what are we going to print? A word with real value. Yeah, something really precious. No, it's not money. Right, it's so much better. Friendship! Tish! The dishwasher. Can't catch me! You won't catch me! <laughs> Enjoying yourself without a care in the world. What? We have more care to both of you together. Yeah, anyone can see that. Want to bet me? How about we try doing your job and you try doing ours? And whoever loses has got to grant the other's wish. We have a dishwasher here in the kitchen that isn't working, and you're distracting us with your nonsense. Wait a sec. Let's do it. Find the broken part. Good as done. Find it where? <laughs> you're the adults now. Go and find it. Just look out for yourselves. And you kids, time for school. And I better not hear that you were misbehaving. Was I there when they taught us about dishwashers at school? The main element of a dishwashing machine is this part, called the sprayer, which looks like a propeller. After the dishwasher's pump delivers water, it is warmed, mixed with detergent, and then pushed up with high pressure. That makes the propeller spin very quickly, so it can shoot out the water with a force strong enough to wash all of the dirt off the plates and glasses. But it does it carefully, so that dishes not only come out sparkling, but unbroken as well. Is this a parent-teacher conference? It's not! It's an experiment! For today, I'm Simka. <laughs> and I'm Nolik. All right. Who's ready to tell the rest of the class what we studied yesterday? Simka. Yesterday? Oh. You forgot. Be seated. That's an F. Mm-hmm. I think the problem is in the control panel. I wonder if the dishwasher ran out of water. Ah. Papus, don't argue with your wife. Right. This one is working. And so is this. <sighs> you know what? Why don't we just wash those dishes? But that would be cheating. No one will find out. The dishes will all be nice and clean, and bam, we're the winners. <laughs> Check it out, we are all done. How come the indicators aren't lit? Fixies have to fix things. And what do you call this? And you, did you both go to school today? Of course we did. I, I mean Simka, got an F for her answer. Well, thanks, Masia. And did you play with Tom Thomas? You know that we don't show ourselves to people. Tom Thomas isn't any human. He's our friend. Either you play with him, or you both lose, just like we did. No way. We'll play another round. 
The earliest kitchenware appeared about 7,000 years ago. Early people made these containers from stone or wood. Another kind of container for holding food was woven baskets. The baskets would be lined with clay for durability. Once, one of these baskets fell into a bonfire, and lo and behold, the wood on the outside burned away, while the clay was now hard as a rock. That discovery led to the invention of clay pottery that is still in use to this very day. Later on came the development of glass, metal, and cast iron cookware. The world's richest people can even have food served to them on dishes of silver or gold. Today, kitchenware is not only a practical convenience, but it can decorate any home as well. Forget it. This is impossible. Let's just tell them we give up. Zinka, how come this button is crooked and not sticking out? Because the button got jammed! Yeah! No way! You figured out what was wrong! <laughs> I'm glad I kept dragging this around. Diddy! One. Papus, two, we fixed everything! Really? Does this mean you're playing with him? Four. What? You think we're some quitters? Ha! Five. Then which one of us is the Ready winner? Ready or not, here I come. Let's call it a draw. Each team gets one wish. Our team mm. wants you to fix my arm. And you finish this game with him. Piece, Piece of, of cake. cake. Mm. <sighs> the Masquerade. So, Tom Thomas, did you choose a costume for the New Year's party? Not yet. These are no good. I've been a pirate. How about a vampire? Did that. And a knight? Mm-hmm. This year, I... I want to do something that's original. And what if... I know what! You can go dressed as me! As Nolik! Perfect! No one's ever gone as a fixie. Ever! Long, long ago, People would put on masks and dance in order to scare away evil spirits. In ancient theater, actors would change masks to play a few different roles. Everyone liked the idea of hiding their faces behind mysterious masks so much that people started organizing fun outdoor festivals called masquerades. There are countries around the world, like Brazil and Italy, that turn into one big masquerade ball during the holidays. Hey there, what are you making? A costume for a masquerade! Can you guess who I'm going as? Yeah, but why does it have to be Nolik? Because I came up with it! Fire'd be a much cooler costume! Huh. That's not true! Stop arguing! I can go dress up as you and you! Now we're talking! <clears throat> Smart fixies wear glasses. <laughs> your glasses are too small to even fit on his finger. Then I'll make glasses just like yours. What a cute fixie. Splendid. Not bad. Only if I were you, I'd add a backpack to your costume. Any fixie who's fashionable is wearing it. And maybe add my curls to it, please? Uh... If you don't, then our feelings will be hurt. Class, did we cover everybody? Oh, we didn't include Simka. <gasps> and where are we going to find room for her? What can I do about it? I already got to get going. Then let's just not tell her. See you later, Tom Thomas. Thanks, guys. Tish! What have you been doing all this time while I was busy loading up the confetti? Uh, we were doing our homework. And looking at this magazine? And talking? Yeah, all of that and more. <laughs> That's got to be the worst lying ever. Tell me what you're hiding. Have you lost your mind? Sorry, but there was absolutely no room left on Tom Thomas. That's not what I'm talking about. What is the number one rule for fixies? Well, what did we promise? We, we won't, won't let out our secret. secret. Right, but you just let it out. Now everyone will know. Tom Thomas wouldn't tell anyone. 
one about us. I hope he doesn't. Well, maybe. Everyone will figure that he's dressed up like some nutty candy. What kind of nutty candy has a backpack on and glasses? We're in real trouble. I thought the glasses looked sharp. So what are we going to do now? Call the professor, right? Or we should call Grandpus or Papus. Ah! Don't panic. Let's wait till Tom Thomas gets back. There are many different types of masks, and some of them are very important. Medical masks are used by both doctors and sick people to reduce the spread of illnesses. Oxygen masks help people breathe. Fencers, hockey goalies, and boxers all use masks to protect their faces from being hit. The blue glass in a welder's mask is used to protect their eyes from dangerously bright light. Sea divers wear masks for swimming underwater. Without a mask, it would be very difficult to see the beauty of the underwater world. The masks that people wear at carnivals and parties? Well, they're just for having fun and putting everyone in a good mood. Or as a disguise, so that no one recognizes you right away. It can be a lot of fun to fool somebody like that. So how was it? It was great! They had a contest for costumes, and I won! Hooray, that's all. Say bye to us. <sighs> I hope you won't be upset, guys. But I couldn't tell anyone that I was a fixie. Here's all I could think of. Grand prize for best costume, robotic toucan! Hey, come on! Do you think we look like toucans? Yeah? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> all right there, fixie toucans. We've got work to do. Happy New Year! <laughs> the Pencil Well done, Tom Thomas! Your mom's birthday's today and you're still sleeping! Hey, what's that? It's a drawing! A portrait of his mom! In my opinion, this mom doesn't look very much like Tom Thomas's mom. Maybe he didn't get to finish the picture yet. He was tired and passed out. This is not good. We gotta do something. We can help him! The pencil's right here! A pencil has a lead inside. It's the lead that makes the drawing. Only lead doesn't grow on trees. It's made out of a mineral called graphite that's mined out of the Earth's crust. But how does the lead get inside a pencil? It's simple. Pencils are made with rods of lead and two wooden boards. Grooves are cut into the boards and the lead's placed in them. The halves are glued together and cut into pencils. The artist tool is ready. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Oh, give me a place to stand and I shall move the pencil through the air. Try and get it closer to the drawing. Uh, you gotta lift it up a little. You gotta push it harder. Uh, uh, uh. No, like, we're blockheads. Look, there's a pencil sharpener. A piece of lead. That's all we need. All right, let's check out how it was done by the old scores. By the great masters, like us. Yeah, she could use a little more hair. And a hat, too. And a bow around her neck. Beautiful. And your sock has got to be in there. Yeah, let's keep drawing. Tom Thomas, are you still sleeping? Fixies? No need to thank us. Uh, where is my drawing? What have you done to it? <gasps> if Mom sees this piece of art you created, she'll go and faint. I know it. From happiness, right? Fright's more like it. Does that look like my mom? Uh, well then, give it to your dad. If your dad won't faint, I know it. But it's my mom's birthday, not my dad's. 
You gotta be kidding me! There's also a famous painting like that. It's called the Black Square. It's a classic. You don't think she'll like it? People want to remember the highlights of their lives. And so they take photos of nature, of their families, of themselves, even of the food they eat. People have been doing this even before the invention of photography, by drawing. An artist might draw the sun, a river, some apple trees, and soon he's made a landscape. And if the apples aren't on trees, but on a plate next to a vase, cup, or basket, then a still life is what it's called. If a person's in the center, then it's called a portrait. And when artists make pictures of themselves, it's called a self-portrait. Of course, it's easier for us to take a quick photo of things we pass along the way. But just like the old masters, we put a piece of our souls into our drawings. And if you draw more often, you'll see it for yourself. I promise you that. Maybe you could just give her one of your older drawings. Maybe you should just erase the mess you made of this one. That could work. Ugh. Erasing's gotta be easier than drawing. Ugh. Whatever. There's no way you can make it worse. Ugh. Hey, I think I know a way you can fix it. You can use the eraser for drawing. A portrait. Uh, portraits don't seem to work out too well for us. But a still life drawing is a piece of cake. Super! Uh-huh. Pretty good, right? Tom Thomas! Everything's on the table for breakfast. Mom, happy birthday. I drew this present for you. Thank you, Tom Thomas. What a lovely still life, so unusual. I tried really hard. We'll hang it up on the wall. Now, let's go eat. What would Tom Thomas have done without us? Yeah. Whenever you get into a jam, your real friends will always show up to rescue you. The Jewel. Tom Thomas, it's time to eat. Where did it go? Chusaka. Did you see this tiny little... I can't believe now I'm asking a dog. Tom Thomas, are you looking for us? Hey, Fixies, maybe you can help me. One of these stones is missing. And so? And so, this pin is very valuable. And so's the stone. If I don't find the stone soon, it's gonna be the end. Honey, your lunch is getting cold. There's no reason to panic. Your precious stone will be found. Wait a sec. Can stones really be precious? Of course they can. Gemstones are the most rare and beautiful of all stones, but it's not easy to find them. Diamonds, emeralds, rubies, sapphires, people find them underground and inside of mountains. Brave divers go to the bottom of the sea to find pearls. People have performed heroic acts and committed daring crimes to get these precious jewels. The magical shine of gems can both enchant and ruin. Remember, only gems acquired honestly bring happiness. I can't find it anywhere. Maybe Chusaka took it. She saw that it was valuable and hung. You're right. Chusaka, give us back the gem, all right? Give it back, we said. Why are you making Chusaka angry? Because she has to give the stone back. What stone, Simka? One that calls a ton. Dogs are supposed to keep treasure safe, but this one eats them. Maybe you didn't look carefully. For example, did you check inside that flower pot? <laughs> this digging's just a waste. How could it end up in here? Because I know this is where we left it. Oh, is that so? All right, spit it out. <gasps> look at this. A diamond. This will look absolutely perfect on my back mat. But I was the one that found it. It would look perfect on mine, too. Let's bring our pack of mats and try it on them. We'll put it here for safekeeping. Well, who could have taken it? <laughs> we still need to check inside of Chusaka. <laughs> you gotta be joking. She'll eat you up. <gasps> Where are you going? 
going, huh? Inside Chisaka to get the stone out. No, I don't. Please. <laughs> I'm ready to do anything my friend needs me to. Huh? By any chance, are you looking for this? Huh? <gasps> Where in the world did you find it? I found a buried diamond. It looks like a diamond, but to be sure, we'll have to conduct a test. A raw diamond looks like an ordinary stone. But after cutting and polishing each of its facets, that special stone transforms into a rare and very expensive jewel that can adorn a necklace, a crown, or a museum's display case. The truth is, only a small part of all found diamonds is used for jewelry. It's because a diamond is also the hardest rock on the planet. That makes it perfect for cutting glass. Diamonds are used in making strong drill bits and cutting blades. Many important medical instruments could not be made without them. With the help of diamonds, it's even possible to drill through a mountain when building a tunnel. That's just how valuable diamonds are. They can cut a pipe and go well with a dress. Isn't it pretty? Only it's not a... Tom Thomas! We found a stone! Oh, oh. And now it's gone. <sighs> to suck a degree! Thanks so much, Fixies. I was sure my precious present was gone. And who is the present for? Katya, I think she'll like it. Now, I've got to tell you, Tom Thomas, that's not a precious stone. You got nothing but glass there. I know. But it doesn't matter. What? I was risking my life for the sake of a piece of glass? First, it was for the sake of your friend. And second, the cost of the gift doesn't matter. It's only the thought that counts. 